What's good, everybody? Back once again to tell you about the recap of the last game of our semifinals. And that is the Boston Celtics versus those uh, Philadelphia 76ers. Um, I did not think it would be this big of a blowout, pretty much. Um... It, I sort of, I was like, I thought the Philly was going to be in trouble, uh, like, a little bit in the first quarter. I was like, it just didn't seem like they was there. It didn't seem like they were ready to go. It seemed like they were a little bit like a days ago. And, you know, granted, you know, they, they kept the game close, but it just seemed like something was off. And I guess the, the point, the point I, I guess I seen was, Boston, like like early first quarter, Boston went up to a like a, like it was like a eight ten point lead. I mean like a, about an eight point lead or something like that. Then Philly went on a run, but it wasn't the same way that like Boston. It wasn't the same way that Boston did it. It was almost like it's like it almost like Boston came out and it was just like defense and a little bit like they they would they were like on. Whereas like Philly got a couple quick buckets here and there. And it's like okay whatever. You know, just like it, they're gonna be after flowing games, but they, but I was like their rotations were bad. I was like it did. It seemed like a Embiid wasn't there. Like even like defensively, you know, because uh, to me, I'm like to me that's how I feel like I feel like it went these games. I'm like you could tell how it's gonna go how y'all are sort of defensively because game seven, you want to. I was like, and it's so early on too. That it was just kind of like, uh, there, there was a couple of they like the Celtics didn't even really score, but they should have scored, um, and it just, it just seemed like they were just so much so much more active of like their bigs were more active on and be, um, I was like, well, I guess also too, okay, so these are sort of also the things like not just their like intensity and their like the ro the rotation was off and their energy, but once I seen uh, Jason Tatum score and not only did he score in the first quarter but he went to the basket and score and he did and he was doing that quite a bit early on uh that's when i was kind of like oh yeah this this ain't this ain't gonna be this ain't gonna be how it how it's sort of been even though um uh, boss has won the last couple games in order to get to this point tatum's been really struggling but the fact that he's like going to the basket getting himself in rhythm and it's kind of like, oh, okay, no, he, he, I was like, whatever clicked or whatever needed to be told to him, that pretty much what happened. And he was ready to go. And that ended up being a 50 burger, 51, you know, just so, you know, get that extra condiment on that burger. But, uh, yeah, no, he came out of bald. I was like, um, yeah, the other Celtics, I was like, it was a poor performance from them, but is it a poor performance when your main dude is over here giving you 50 and then Brown is able to give you half of that? And the thing is, is that you would imagine that if, if those two are putting up these type of points, you would think like, oh, man, that must mean Philadelphia's crew or their top star was also given in the work where Tatum had to go in a crazy overdrive. Now, granted, Tatum was hot. He was just in something rhythm throughout the whole game that he was just high, especially like in that third, that third and fourth quarter. Dude was just hitting threes, and it just felt like a two K game at that point, cause that's pretty much how it actually is when you face Tatum, and that's what it was. But no, I it it was hor horrible. The fact that your best player tonight was probably PJ Tucker. And all his points he scored in the first half, which I feel like if I I felt like once I realized that I was like wait, PJ Tucker had eleven points, and y'all aren't winning. That spelled that spelled a bad game. Cause like I like I've said before in my other videos, when you get points from people that's not accounted for, that's that to me should be. What sort of wins you the game? You know Maxi can score. You know Embiid can score. You know uh, Harden can score. Niang can hit some buckets. Uh, Melton can score. I'm like Tobias should be able to score, but <clears throat> ah, that guy. But 
I'm just saying, like, if PJ gives you 11, that's luxury, especially against, especially against a Celtics team that has so many other options. Other than Tatum and Brown, as you've seen how they've been able to win in some of these other games. Yeah, nope. That... It 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 just wasn't it just wasn't good for anybody. Harden, I I was like it, it man. I was like after he after how he played like the very first game, and then I think uh, it was game uh, three I believe where he also where he also showed up. For him for the end like this, it's going to just be all those things that have followed Harden of uh, basically just like. Yeah, but when you need it, that dude's like, nah. And then Embiid on the other end, too. Not, I was like, he he had more, I believe he had more shots than he had points. That, that I was like, I mean, I mean, granted, I'd have been fine, I guess, if you was, like, going out guns a-blazing, but it just didn't, it just, it just wasn't there. And he, he just, like, he, it seemed like he couldn't do anything really around Horford. And it's crazy that even though Horford is 604, he is stopping Embiid so easy. When Embiid's going to have all these moves and all these the shot-making ability and stuff like that. But he just, and I, I sort of know that throughout the series, but he just wasn't able to really be to the basket. Like, like you would think, like, like he would have matched up against Robin Williams because that's the that's a mismatch because Robin Williams is too small in the frame compared to Embiid. So you go with Horford, but he's also taller than Horford. And granted, I know Horford's always been sort of like the stopper against him, and he got more girth on him or whatever. But you still got like four or five inches over him, and I'm like you're faster than he is too. You should be, and but it didn't. It really didn't seem like much of that was really put uh, about and. Once nobody else was coming to play, and Tatum just got on a roll, and that was that was pretty much it. Cause I was like, cause it's not that you, they wouldn't even like trade. You wouldn't even trade in like threes with twos, and sort of stay in the game. You was trading like it was like for every two or three shots, maybe a bucket. But by then, that that I was like, by then that's like such a de- like a decrease of like. Okay, not decrease, but that's such like a like an odds end of an advantage of like your three point shot versus your twos, when you're not even making your twos, or getting any twos or shooting. You get what I'm saying? Like like it was, it was crazy. Like at one point it was just like it was just like oh it's eight, oh it's 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 fifteen. Okay, no pro. Oh okay, now it's starting to be in the twenty. Oh now they hit finally hit a basket, but now your basket of two don't mean nothing because now they're up by like twenty. But they're still shooting threes. <sighs> it, yeah, it is just very disappointing that after Embiid got the MVP and that Jokic's advances, you don't. Jokic played a hell of a series to where if it if his team were going to be if his team were going to lose, what it going to be because of him? But Embiid, except for like two games. And then Harden also, man. Doc, I was like, Doc River, guess what? Another, what, 3 1 lead? Balloon. How is that possible? But as KG said, anything is possible. And at this point, I, the fact that it went out like this, because I was like, gr- like, granted, how Phoenix went out and it was like, oh, by 30, and I know that, that more of a talking point because of like, Devin Booker last year, but to me, I'm like, yeah, but it was like, to me, it was just tired. He just got tired. Uh, KD, and that's going, and that's what that's going to be like. But this one is, to me, is a different type of collapse. I'm like, if y'all went toe-to-toe and then they just hit, like, a couple buckets, like, at the very end or you lost on the last second shot or whatever. Because I'm like, it's been a close, it's really been a closer series than it, than it seems. Like, like the Celtics should have actually got one of them if, if they would have got to pass the smart a little bit earlier. But the fact that y'all get blown out by like 30, but y'all already, y'all had to take out y'all dudes at like eight minutes in like the fourth quarter. Like, was like that's that's the more disheartening thing. Like, I'm glad they wasn't in Philly because that would be so uroriously bad. But 
Yeah, no, this this wasn't this this it it just felt off from the it just felt off from the beginning in a way that like you would hope that it would pick up and it just it really just never did and no I I don't I don't know that's that is so weird that nobody really came to play at all on on, on Philly really. I mean, a PJ, and I was like, you know, not that some of them didn't play like hard, or like you know, like Max is just missing shots, Tobias, um, and but and being it harder for them to be your two dudes, and it just kind of seemed like it was just like empty. Yeah, that that's not that's not a good look. Um, yeah, but anyway, uh, that's it for me today. If you like any of my analysis or my thoughts or me saying talking. You know, all those things. Uh, I appreciate it. Thanks. If not, hey, maybe next time. But until then, peace. I'm out.